Hey there everybody, Phil here for AndroidCentral.com and I am holding in my hand what appears to be a perfectly ordinary Sprint Evo 4G. There's your stock home screen, there's the weather going by, you got the same giant clock widget, icons on the front, everything looks pretty normal and when you start scrolling through the home screens everything looks the same. We've come to know this since, oh, March when we first saw the Evo, right? And you love it, you know it, and we've been waiting for something new, haven't we? Well, same old leap. Yeah, that's still there. Here's where it gets fun. We have on this Evo. It's coming, it's coming. Let's look. You know what it is, don't you? Android 2.2, Froyo. This is next to. Uh, the actual release build that we should be seeing in the next coming days. The build number is slightly different than what Sprint says we should expect, but we are perfectly confident in that this is what we'll be getting. So, let's dive into it a little bit. There's your build number 3.25651.1. Uh, That's going to increase a little bit in the OTA, we think. It's your software version. Cool. It's Android 2.2. Trust us. So let's look here. Uh, as long as we're in the settings, let's look at some of the new settings that you get in Froyo. Um, here is your phone storage, and that's relatively unchanged, right? Just wanted to show you that. Don't mind that voicemail thing. This uh, phone is unactivated, so that pops up from time to time. Now let's actually look at some of the Froyo settings. So we'll start with, oh, how about, let's go down to security. This is a big one for people, right? Everyone wonders about exchange. Um, here's the one that came new in Froyo. You have new pattern locks. You got the pattern lock, pin lock, or password lock, and then that can be set by your exchange settings. So uh, your IT department can do that. Uh, install search from the SD card, nice, cool. Let's check out the applications now, because this is also something new. Manage applications, and say you want to move one to the SD card. You can't actually move Linpack because it's not set up to do it, but the option's there. Froyo, baby. Gotta love it. So you can move apps to the SD card now. Very nice. And let's see what else. How about... Oh, let's see. There's... Wireless Networks, yes. The uh, hotspot has changed names. Sprint Hotspot. Cool. No more tethering. It's now at hotspot. That's hot. Cool. All right. So let's go back and check out some of the other stuff. Let's look at the apps. We got a couple new apps that we've already known about. Sprint's announced them. And one that I know people are excited about is the flashlight. No root required, just a plain old flashlight app. Tap it, turns it on. Kind of cool how uh, the light shines there on the screen because you kind of forget that the light's actually in the bottom. Now I'll show it to you so you can see it. You got dual flashes on the Evo, remember? And so you have three intensity levels. And off. Cool. I like that a lot. Uh, let's see what else we got. We got, oh, the FM radio app has new skin. Still doesn't work unless you have uh, headphones plugged in, right? Because they use that as the antenna. But otherwise, it looks new, and that's cool. Uh, let's see, how about the messages? SMS, you get a little more room to work in. Nice. I know that keyboard was cramping some people. Uh, you can also attach contacts as uh, CSVs. Nice. I'm not going to do it because I don't feel like blacking out any of my contacts, but it's there. Uh, the camera. The camera in Froyo will rotate in all directions. Watch the buttons. Watch the little icons on the screen. You will see them rotate. There you go. As the phone turns. I know it's a little tough to watch there, but it works. Cool. Uh, something we're not going to show you is Photo Gallery supports Facebook comments now, which is nice. Kind of missing that before. So there you go. You got your camera. Um, when you're shooting video now, you can use the flash. Turn the flash on. There you can see it. Cool. Flash when you're shooting video. There have been improvements to the 720p video, which is already there, but they've uh, tweaked it a little bit. Cool. Uh, let's see, what else should we look at? How about... Uh, let's look at some widgets. Start with the uh, Google search widget. has changed a little bit. You can choose whether you want to search uh, the web. You can search apps. All right there from the uh, widget. That's nice. And let's search... Nah, let's not search for Limpack. You all know how search works. We've all done that once or twice on Google, haven't we? Let's kill that off and get ourselves a little clean canvas here. I want to talk about the new widgets that are uh, here on the Evo with Froyo. We got four. Actually, we have more than four, but you'll see what I'm talking about. So starting with the calculator, you have 
actually four different skins on the calculator you can use. So we'll pick that one and plop it on there. There it is. And four plus three equals seven. So life goes on as we know it. Cool. All right, let's toss that one off. And now let's look at, how about, ooh, FM radio widgets. And you have two skins to play with here. Cool. Now let's look at how about uh, we got a couple settings we can look at, and I like these a lot. So dive into settings widgets, and you have profile. Tap it, and you get normal, silent, or vibrate. I like that. I know a lot of you like that. And this is all stuff that you can get in third-party apps and widgets and stuff, right? But it's nice that Sprint's included it now. Really kind of basic stuff that should be there. And you also have a ringtone widget. Very cool. We'll have a separate post on the widgets so you can uh, spend a little more time looking at them. Choose your ringtone on the fly. That's very nice. I can be able to hear it there, but that's all right. And while you're looking at these, you should uh, play with the other settings widgets on there if you haven't seen them before. I know they're a little buried, so give those a shot. That's cool. Let's see what else. Uh, the calendar. There's your calendar widget. That's basic. We've seen that before. Facebook birthdays have been added to the calendar. That's kind of cool. Uh, let's see. None there. There's one. So there's somebody who I'm not really in contact with, but I'm friends with on Facebook, and it was her birthday. And there's another one. Cool. None on that day. And there's another one this past Sunday, or two Sundays ago, whenever that was. So cool. Facebook birthdays uh, added to the calendar. That is a nice little addition. Let's see what else we've got, shall we? Um, okay, let's talk about the JIT, the just-in-time compiler. This is under-the-hood tweaks in Android 2.2 that will significantly speed up your phone. This is an app called Linpack that tests CPU processing, and you remember way back when it was getting like 6 and 7 on the M-flops. Now we're seeing the i30s. That's the JIT. So it's right up there, um, at least as far as this test goes with the Nexus 1, which is totally what we expected it to, right? No surprises there. Let's run one other benchmark test. This is that quadrant test that everybody loves running. I'm not crazy about it uh, for a number of reasons, but let's just run it so we can take a look and see how it scores itself. So I'll sit back and just let you watch. Yeah, let's get the results, and <laughs> puts it not too uh, far under the Nexus 1. Interesting. Uh, you see, it still says the Motorola Shadow. I don't know where these results get shot to, and that's why I worry about this app a little bit. You would think maybe it said Joy X by now, but it doesn't, so whatever. There you go. Um, oh, one more uh, little setting I want to show you here. One more little uh, tweak. This is kind of biggie, isn't it? You know what's coming. Manage applications, and let's see about all applications. Oh, look at that! Flash Player 10.1. It's Adobe Flash on the Evo 4G, and it's built in by default. You don't even have to go download it. Uh, the Evo previously had Flash Lite, which would let you do some Flash content in web pages. Now you have complete and total Flash content. So let's fire up the web browser real quick and go find some. And see if we're going to have a little cut there, because it's... And here's the Adobe Flash site itself, and chances are there's going to be a little flash on it, right? And there it is. There's actually quite a lot of flash on this page, so this is kind of a good test to uh, put the browser under. And see it? You know, it slows down a little bit. Pinch to zoom still works. Very, very cool. I know a lot of people have been excited about flash, so you now have it on the Evo 4G. So there you go, guys. A quick little preview of Android 2.2 on the Sprint Evo 4G, and we'll see it coming out in the uh, next few days. Take care.